As Nigeria hosts almost 10,000 individuals with a net worth of over a million US dollars, making it the third country in the continent for number of, of wealthy individuals residing, uh, residing in the country. economist by trade, uh, although I also have a background in political science, uh, and I have been working uh, in Sub-Saharan Africa for about 10 years. Uh, I started working on taxis in 2017 by one of those accidents of life. I was posted as a, an Overseas Development Institute Fellow uh, uh, to the National Revenue Authority of Sierra Leone in the Monitoring, Research and Planning Department. Uh, where I worked as an embedded civil servant for two years. Uh, over this period, I developed a passion for, for taxation as I understood better and better how significant it is to uh, increase revenue mobilization domestically for the sustainable development of low-income countries. How to increase compliance of, of a financial individual uh, across Sub-Saharan Africa is, is a question that the ICTD has been addressing for quite a long time. We have been carrying out work on this topic in, in Uganda, uh, in Rwanda, in Sierra Leone, but uh, the work we've been doing in Nigeria presents some significant differences from what we have done in other countries because of the structure of Nigeria itself. Uh, Nigeria is a federal country, as in many other federal countries, uh, the taxation of personal income lies with each state within the federation rather than with the federal government. Uh, in practice, that means that trying to develop an overarching strategy to increase compliance from this very important category of taxpayers is more complex in Nigeria than it is in other countries, because rather than having one institution in charge of ensuring that taxpayer complies with their individual obligation, there are 37, one for each of the 36 states and one for the federal capital. Uh, and, and due to historical reason, the, the human and technological endowments of, of the 37 different internal revenue services of Nigeria are widely different, which means that some strategies that might work very well in Lagos might be less effective in other parts of the country. Uh, increasing compliance from this group of taxpayer uh, is very important in general across the continent, but especially in Nigeria. Uh, Nigeria is a country that has historically relied on oil revenue to fund the vast majority of government budget, and this is becoming increasingly unsustainable. Uh, so when thinking about which sector of society uh, could contribute more to the tax take, I net worth individuals are, are a very easy category to start considering. We are currently uh, uh, in the process of discussing with various states in the Federation what is their main appeal in working with us, what we can contribute, what data can they allow us to access, and that will hopefully lead uh, to the production of some policy relevant evidence that might help uh, uh, finally reducing the tax avoidance and evasion from this category of taxpayers, thereby improving the uh, uh, equity and efficiency of the tax system in Nigeria and reducing the dependence on, on oil revenue to fund government budgets.